Here comes our president, ready to save America, to fight for freedom, stops to talk to the voters, and down goes Biden. Oh, it's not good. A painful morning. The bike ride heard around the world. Joe Biden out on his usual vacation, I think in Delaware somewhere, and he goes out for a bike ride. Now, this has been a little scheme that the White House has been doing, actually, even before they got into the White House. They would say, Joe Biden is fully competent. He's fully cognizant. He knows where he is. What are you, nuts? Look at him. He can ride a bike. He can hop on a two-wheeled motion and just go down at a high rate of speed down a mountain and nothing even happens. And, and I made comments about that previously on this channel. I said, that looks pretty good. Actually, he is kind of flying around all over the place. But we have seen Joe Biden's capacity slowly deteriorate right in front of our eyes. And now this bike ride is just even one more symbolic bit of evidence that we can use to justify what many of us have speculated for a long time is happening, that the president is just not well. And it's not good, right? It's something that I've said on the show is elder abuse. This is like, what you know, would you do this to your parents? Would you say, mom, you don't know where you are right now, but we're going to need to just kind of just slop you around from room to room to room and have you sign a bunch of documents, get out there, stand in front of a podium, read from a teleprompter, sort like it's not cool to be doing this. He should be sort of just riding off into the sunset and letting somebody who knows where they are, knows what they're doing, govern the country. But of course, that's not going to happen here. So Joe Biden is out there. The bike ride heard around the world. Breitbart gave us some more details on this. He said that over there, the article written by Wendell says that Joe Biden fell off his bike in Reho Booth. Delaware on Saturday morning after getting his foot stuck, which has happened to anybody who's ridden a bike before, especially if you've got those, those little sort of, they're not clip-ins, but they're, I don't know what they're called. They're, they're sort of like foot holsters for your foot. POTUS fell down from his bike on his way back from the trail, got up and said, I'm good, said his foot got stuck. Not known whether the 79 year old sustained any injuries from the fall or how the president's foot became stuck, but it did. Here's another hey, angle. See that book? It, it's not like a clip-in. It's just like a little holster. Oh. oh, no. President. Mr. President. Not good. So let's see here. See if we can see that clip there. Yeah, right. It, it just kind of n n locks your toes in, right? And I have a bike, and it has something like that. I don't know what it's called. It's sort of like a KG thing. And so Biden, of course, falls over. Not the first time that Joe had a little bit of a mishap. We saw that Breitbart pulled this one out from the hill. And Joe Biden's going up the actual airplane steps. And we got the one, the two, ba ba da ba 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 da ba 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 da ba There's three, yeah. So not good. And finally, he gets back up and he goes on his way. Now, you know, a lot of people don't make a big deal out of this. And ordinarily, I wouldn't either. And, you know, I sort of was even debating making a video about it. But... You know, there are a lot of double standards on this thing. And there was this gentleman who a long time ago said this, right? Andrew Bates. And a lot of people, he's a blue check mark on Twitter. He's followed by Ronald Klain, okay, over at the White House. I think he may even be working as an advisor or somebody close to the White House. He posted this some time ago, August 31st, 2020. You know, they make an issue of this. Joe Biden boards a plane en route to his campaign speech in Pittsburgh says my president, showing vigor on the way to address how we solve the many crises that Donald Trump is puzzlingly creating. It says Donald Trump is puzzlingly running on having ramped up. Now Joe Biden's, you know, running up the ramp. People like this saying, yes, a president who can jog up steps on an airplane, who can ride a bike, who can close an umbrella and drink water one-handed. Remember this? They were making fun of Trump for all that when he was going down the flights of those stairs one time. And this Andrew Bates guy, Along with Jennifer, I stand with Ukraine, Ruben, the blogger. Ugh, another blue check mark. You know who she is. She's out along with Andrew Bates and saying, anyone ever seen Trump run, you know, doing this Trump thing? He was a, just a Coke drinking, ice cream munching, orange Cheeto who just, you know, has bad hair and is just a dreg of American society. Here, anyone ever seen Trump run or Andrew Bates says, or ride a bike? And then he linked this one. Like, here's, look, here's Joe. Like, they really love are, this bike thing. Watch. Here's Joe. Hurry. There's they Joe run, riding a bike. Dun, dun, dun. Race up steps when others take it slow. <laughs> when Joe Biden's president, <laughs> See, fun of America Trump. is just going to have to keep up. 
We We're won't gonna have, have to wait up. to deal with COVID-19. He's already got a some people are always in a hurry. Yikes. Okay, right there's Joe again on the bike. Wow, man, he's just so much energy. And he's just in charge. And this was August 31st, 2020. And so all this is sort of people going, what? Or do you recall? So you made an issue of it. And now you go to guys like this. And uh, Andrew Bates is out there today doing damage control, right? So here today, June 18th. 909 a.m. 2022 that that other video was back from 2020 so you see this one August 2020 is you know prior to the election and you know Joe Biden was getting a little bit of uh, criticism because he was not actually campaigning he was hiding in the basement they would have these campaign speeches and rallies and they would draw those big circles in the ground where everybody would sort of socially distance and many of us were wondering what the heck is going on here are they even trying to campaign Seems like maybe they're not. And so all of this was being spread around. No, he's he's actually out there doing a lot of stuff. And, you know, so people were talking about him having a lot of energy and blah, blah, blah. But then the old uh, the old bike incident happens. And it's sort of a symbolic uh, you know, bit of evidence against. Well, it's it, it's. Analogous to what's happening in America and the world. Everything is falling over. It's not good. No balance, no stability. The wheels are coming off. And here, this guy, right, he's back. He, you fast forward a couple of years and he says, uh, it's com comfortably smug, actually, and they have a podcast called The Ruthless Podcast. Says, bro, don't turn on the news today. Talking about Andrew Bates linking over to that. And he says, never seen Trump on a bike, let alone get right back up and keep on going. But to be fair, I have seen him run a track. And so he links this meme, you know, and that was the Trump going down the... Um, icy ramp saga, right? He got skewered over that, but you're probably not going to see a whole lot of the Biden skewering going on. Andrew Bates and others are sort of, you know, playing cover for him. Now, the good news is it sounds like Biden is actually okay. And I, you know, I actually had some concerns about that because he is 79. And if you are that age and you fall, right, you get injured. It doesn't matter if you're the president or not, a Democrat or not, but you just get injured because you're getting you know, older and you've got a bike on you. And so it's not ideal. But apparently he's all right, folks. He's all right. Daily Mail tells us Biden hops out of church to prove he wasn't injured after falling over on a bike ride near his beach home as he and Jill spent their 45, 45th wedding anniversary and the Juneteenth weekend in Delaware. So he fell off his bike and he popped back up and said, I'm good. He fell over and he got out of there. And apparently he sort of popped back up, right? He's sort of doing this like little hoppy thing, like watch him do this little hop. Mr. President, how are you feeling? You okay, Joe? How are you feeling, sir? He's hopping good. around. I'm there good. There you go. <laughs> he says, I'm good. I'm strong. Any bumps or bruises, Mr. President? Any bumps or bruises? Mr. President? No, so he seems like he's all good. And so that's what we got. Now he does that little hop there. Some more imagery of the actual fall itself. And you see him down there on the ground along with, sort of everybody else kind of a, a shocking thing right to see the president fall right in front of you and you know secret service is looking out for weapons and guns and terrorists and bombers and violence and all that stuff and you know they sort of forgot that joe biden might just fall over and die <laughs> there's not much they can do about that so they're like oh shoot i forgot gotta make sure he doesn't fall over on himself and so there's the president and you know again not ideal a lot of photographs a lot of videos coming out. Everybody's going to fall and it doesn't matter what age you are. So, you know, I like to think that we all will show each other a little bit of grace, but that really doesn't happen in politics. As we see, you know, they would, they, they would and have blown up Donald Trump over it. And so we see, you know, we'll see if that same sort of thing applies to the president. Now, the New York Post gave us some details. Apparently some of this is, is related to the bike. So I pulled this up earlier. They're saying he blamed the pedals and the toe cages. That's what they're called on the fall, saying that the toe cages on his flat pedals make us feel like when the paparazzi aren't looking, Biden really likes to rip, wrote the magazine's former editor. It has a tricked out bike, host of accessories. It's got a wireless computer, coiled cable lock, bottle cage, bento box, rear view mirror, and all these different things. So maybe the bike, you know, maybe the bike is responsible for the, the accident. Not sure. But we do know that the White House is not really commenting on this. This is over from their Twitter account. And Joe Biden posted an hour ago, very excited about the vaccines, right? Very excited about the vaccines for the, for the young kids. He posted three hours ago. Good news, folks. Vaccine for kids under five have now been authorized by the FDA and recommended by the CDC. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. And he says here, 
we've been preparing for this moment. Parents, you'll be able to schedule appointments. Very excited about that. You know, they've been really trying to get that happened and done for a long period of time. So they're excited about that. The White House actual press account doing the same thing. See over here, three hours ago. They're very excited about this. Appointments are encouraged. The vaccines are now available for kids under five. So, okay, that's okay. That's what they're talking about there. Now, you know, uh, the Biden bike fall, of course, leads to some memes being created out there. Now, Benny Johnson, of course, had the first one for us. He said, Biden, right back out after he was injured. He's already right back out on the bike, which is very good news. And so he's not wasting any time getting back out there, you know, riding for America, riding for freedom out there. And he's got some safety protocols on his bike. That's from Benny Johnson. We had this one over from Il Donaldo Trumpo. We have this one. Here is uh, another. There's Donald Trump. Remember him. And of course, oh no, the MAGA hat knocks. Oh no, the MAGA hat. Oh no. (laughs) And Donald Trump himself, to wrap it up, posted this over on the Truth Social, which by the way, I'm over there. You can see my little profile up here. And I do post stuff there. This is at Robert Govea. So check it out if you want to follow me along on Truth Social. But here is Donald Trump. And he posted this about four hours ago from when I'm recording this. And their videos looks like they're being hosted by Rumble. Here's Donald Trump. Oh no, the golf ball did it this time. Oh no, the golf ball did it. So poor old Joe Biden having a difficult time out there on the bikes, riding around for America, not even doing a good job at that either. So we're not going to continue to follow this. Glad to hear the president is okay. Normally I say, you know, we'll follow this one along. Don't think there's anything to really follow on this, but We'll look and follow the other things that the Biden administration touches that collapse. And I hope you join us on that journey. Would love it if you subscribed before you got out of here. If you're looking for a little bit extra members, I do release members only content, whether you're on YouTube or whether you are in our community on locals at watchingthewatchers.locals.com. I do appreciate your support. Many of our videos get automatically demonetized. We don't show up in the search results. So members and the super chats and super thanks that you leave really do support the work that we do. And I very much appreciate that. And that, my friends, is it. I look forward to seeing you on the next one.